Greetings Canada, this is Craig reporting for Canada's smartest IT and as I've said before, we're on the quest to simply find the best and today that takes us to Etobicoke, Ontario to interview Curiosity David Weinberg. Here's the interview. I have the pleasure of being here with David Weinberg, the CEO of Curiosity. How are you doing David? I'm doing alright. Awesome. What is Curiosity? Curiosk is a uh, kiosk that we created to help people connect in the wine environment. It helps retailers connect with shoppers in the mm -hmm. wine aisle. How do you measure success here at Curiosk? Uh, well, since our kiosk does two things. The first, it gives information to people in the wine aisle. So right. we measure through our software. We know how many people are scanning and mm -hmm. touching the kiosk to get information. The other part of our kiosk and the, the niche that we have is it lets people print a greeting card with that information on it. Very cool. So we use the software to see how many people are printing a card. Wow. So that, those are the two top metrics we measure. If you could pick that one thing, that wow thing, what do you, would you say is the smartest thing you've uh, done? The smartest thing we did when we started the business, we partnered with IBM mm -hmm. out of the gate. And that gave us the credibility and the clout and the depth of back office resources right. that have let us get to where we are. And we couldn't have done it without that. What, what would you say is the biggest thing or maybe the most important thing that you've learned and taken away from the entire experience? Um, having capital in mm -hmm. the bank so that you could yep. do, so that you could execute all the things you learn along the way and uh, as well as networking in the industry has, mm -hmm. has been a challenge but we've done that quite well and we've now got a lot of industry leaders who know what we're doing and who support us. David, how has your use of technology affected those around you? Uh, years ago when we came up with this idea, we didn't feel technology was there to deliver it. There weren't the touchscreen kiosks or computers the way they are. They were a keyboard would need to be used, not as efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, thermal printers, now they can handle the quality of paper that we wanted to deliver to a consumer, whereas before they maybe weren't able to handle that the same speed or the same paper weight. Right. As well as the internet and the high-speed internet connections which are prevalent in the market everywhere mm -hmm. we've looked to deploy a kiosk. Years ago, if those elements weren't there, we couldn't have done what we're doing today. What would you say was IT's role in making your business a success? Couldn't do it without IT. Right. Um, we've used IT to uh, collect and meet the supplier community out there. Mm -hmm. We use IT to meet the retailers and get their data and merge it with ours. We use IT uh, to manage every kiosk out there, move the data back and forth, get the results back and forth, and they're monitored 24-7, mm -hmm. and it works. David, can you take us through the business model of the machine? Sure. The, uh, the, the industry we're in, it's, it's kiosks, but really at the end of the day, we're selling greeting cards. Right. We're, we're a greeting card uh, kiosk here, and the nice thing about it, the, the wine and spirits industry, $45 billion of retail in North America recession resilient. Mm -hmm. The greeting card industry, seven and a half billion dollars at retail right. in North America, also recession resilient. People right. are always having birthdays, anniversaries, these things happen every year. Um, and the way we took our business here, if we could take the wine and spirits industry, mm -hmm. the greeting card industry, and intertwine it with the kiosk technology yep. industry, which right now is also on fire, mm -hmm. and we're right at the epicenter of all three of those, and it's pure luck. And um, let me show you how it Absolutely. works. Absolutely, that'd be very. The last thing I have, and it, it sort of goes with do, you know doing that that backlog research. Is you have a very cool quotation on your business card. Yeah, it's uh, it's one I've lived by in business for many many years in this company and before, and it's every success is built on the on the ability to do better than just good enough. And you know, it, it goes back to the wow factor. If you mm -hmm. give people what they expect, you get uh huh. If you give them more than what they expect, you get that's interesting. But if you wow them you really is exceed in the marketplace. And that's sort of our philosophy when we come to work every day and with the kiosk we've created. Very cool, David. Thank, thank you very you. much. Oh, thank you. Pleasure.